I'm here at um, my friend Melissa's house. She wanted to know if I could help her make this kind of like faux brick wall. So well, this is gonna be a, a family room, so we're gonna have a lot of use down here, and I wanted it to be, the rest of the basement's gonna be really great, and then we had this ickiness here, so I wanted it to be kind of unique and something different and a little showpiece. How, okay. did you, how did you come to this concrete wall? What happened? What did you uh, we lifted our house and poured a new foundation, which I do not recommend. Don't ever do it, but we did. Okay. Melissa's house is over 100 years old. They had to have extensive work done on the foundation because the house is old. The foundation was literally starting to crumble. This is the new foundation. We knew we could make it look better. She chose to do this brick wall on the wall leading down to the basement. Exactly, and have it look a little distressed and old and like it's always been there and it's supposed to be that She way. and her husband, Stephen, have been working for months to get this basement finished. Now let the fun begin. This is a very inexpensive way to make an ugly wall look better. We use two gallons of drywall mud, some tape, and very little paint to create this look. Begin by applying the tape to the surface of the wall. Use a level to make sure the first piece of tape is level. That way you will know for sure that your bricks will be straight. Finish the entire wall with the horizontal tape pattern. If you're doing a large wall, it's helpful to have someone help you with the taping. It goes much faster. We're going to fill in more with the drywall mud. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but we're trying to go for the effect. Look at this cute Melissa. She's got a cute outfit on and she's mudding in the basement. She's got plenty of brick skills. Easy peasy. <laughs> so basically all we've done right now is tape it off the wall. So how are you feeling Melissa? I'm digging it. So we're just going to use this kind of uh, sheet rack compound and some, uh, they're not spatulas, what are those called? I don't even know. Spreaders. Spreaders. Yeah, they're spreaders. I'm not so good with words. <laughs> Am I, just... I on? You're on. Okay. So now all you're going to do is you're basically going to, it's almost kind of like frosting a cake or something. You're basically going to put, you're going to smear the, the, um, the uh, joint compound over this wall right here. You don't have to be really perfect with it. Actually, the more texture that you have, the better it looks because it's going to look more authentic that way. So we're just going to basically take this and we're going to, we're going to just start spreading it everywhere. And you're going to go over the, the tape because once you use the tape, once you take the tape off, that's going to leave the template for the brick. Easy, easy, right? Easy. There she is, the master, hard at work. And Melissa, you don't have an ounce of drywall mud on you, do you? Not an ounce. Really pretty easy. much what the wall looks like right now. It's cool, it's got a good texture to it anyway, but we're gonna take this off and you'll see the reveal. After you apply the joint compound to the entire surface, remove the tape from the wall. Remove the tape when the drywall compound is still wet. This is what it's looking like. I'm digging it. This is where you begin to create the old brick look. I don't personally like the brick to look like it has sharp edges and 90 degree angles. After you remove the tape, you will want to soften the edges of the bricks by applying more joint compound. This will soften the look and also give the brick a more three-dimensional look. You also need to randomly stipple the joint compound where it looks like the mortar would be. You are creating texture similar to what mortar looks like. How's it going there, Melissa? Going good, going good. I started painting the compound before it was even dry. This was great because the color of the paint became part of the joint compound. The next part is all up to your own imagination. For this project, I used the colors Repose, Shirley's Pumpkin, A La Mode, Black Bean, and Tanya. You can paint the brick any color you like. That's the great thing about this project. You are your own artist. It is helpful to look at several pictures of brick structures and study what brick really looks like. So really, honestly, the key to doing this 
is making it look like this old brick is this. You just kind of layer the colors. But the overall effect is really what you want. You, what do you think, you guys? Is it fun? Look at this. Very it's fun. Awesome. It's very fun, huh? Yep. The more carefree you are, the better it looks. I'm digging it. I like this one right here. <laughs> Followed by, where's one with the green? That one. That's ah. I'm digging it. Melissa even had to stage the staircase a little for effect. They still have plenty of projects to complete, but we all had fun hanging out and exchanging ideas. I even had my sister-in-law pretend like she was on HGTV. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'm so glad you had a brick on the inside of your house. That's great. I would have never known they're not real. For more inspiration, you can like me on my Facebook page, Maria Price Designs, or go to my website, mariapricedesigns.com. You can also click on the affiliate link listed below to purchase any Heirloom Traditions product. Thanks for watching.